hello all welcome back in the previous lectures we have seen the concepts related to s hydrograph and the methods by which unit hydrographs having different durations can be derived from the given unit hydrograph so today let us solve some of the numerical examples related to those concepts so while deriving the unit hydrograph having different durations that that is ndr duration we have seen two concepts can be utilized method of superposition and method of s hydrograph if the duration which we are going to derive is the integral multiple of the duration of the known hydrograph we can make use of the principle of superposition but sometimes we may have to derive a unit hydrograph having duration which is not an integral multiple of the given duration that is n can be a fraction in that case we can make use of s hydrograph theory s hydrograph can be utilized in the case of integral multiple also but in the case of fraction we can make use of s hydrograph only we cannot make use of principle of superposition today let us solve some of the examples related to it first example is unit hydrograph of different durations using method of superposition derive a 3r unit hydrograph from 1r unit hydrograph time hours and 1r unit hydrograph ordinates are given to us that is we are having the 1r unit hydrograph the known unit hydrograph is having a duration of 1r we need to derive the 3r unit hydrograph since the known duration is 1r and we have to derive the 3r unit hydrograph we can understand that it is an integral multiple of the given duration so we can make use of the principle of superposition here to derive the 3r unit hydrograph from 1r unit hydrograph you know the steps related to it here in this case n is an integer and if n is an integer we will be making use of the principle of superposition and three unit hydrographs will be lagged by one hour so we need to lag it by three unit hydrographs are required so these three unit hydrographs superimposed together will be producing a 3r direct run of hydrograph due to 3 cm of rainfall summing up the ordinates of the three unit hydrographs will give the 3r direct run of hydrograph from 3 cm of effective rainfall now by making use of the principle of proportionality we can divide the resulting 3r direct run of hydrograph by the effective rainfall of 3 cm that will be giving us 3r unit hydrograph so first what we will be doing we will be lagging the 1r unit hydrograph by 1r then summing up the corresponding ordinates to form the direct run of hydrograph of 3r which is produced due to 3 cm of rainfall after that we will be dividing each and every ordinate of the direct run of hydrograph by 3 cm which will be producing the unit hydrograph of 3r so these are the data given to us what we have to do this is the these are the ordinates representing 1r unit hydrograph it is in meter cube per second so now what we will do we will lag these ordinates of 1r unit hydrograph by 1r how it can be done so we will be lagging it by one row so it is starting from first r then we need to have the 3r unit hydrograph so we need to lag it again by one r so this is the ordinates of one r unit hydrograph lagged by two hours so we are starting at two hours after this what we will do we will sum up the ordinates from column 2 column 3 and column 4 that will be resulting a direct run of hydrograph of 3 hours which is produced due to 3 cm of effective rainfall this is the direct run of hydrograph due to 3 cm of rainfall now what we will be doing we will be dividing the ordinates of the direct run of hydrograph by 3 cm so 
it will be giving us 3R unit hydrograph. So, these are the ordinates of 3R unit hydrograph which is produced from 1R unit hydrograph. So, here we are having the plot showing 1R unit hydrograph and 3R unit hydrographs. So, you can observe the graphs 1R unit hydrograph is having high peak and the peak is attained very fast. And while looking at the 3R unit hydrograph, it is produced a peak after certain time than that of the 1 hour unit hydrograph. Now, let us move on to the second example on S hydrograph. While explaining the S hydrograph concepts, we have discussed about the theory only. Now, let us solve one example related to S hydrograph, then it will be more clear. Derive the S hydrograph from a 4 hour unit hydrograph given in the table below. Estimate the value of the equilibrium discharge from the S curve. Here what we have to derive? We have to derive a S hydrograph from a 4 hour unit hydrograph. While discussing about S hydrograph, we have seen after certain time S hydrograph will be attaining an equilibrium discharge. So, what is the equilibrium discharge that also we need to determine in this example. So, these are the ordinates of 4 hour unit hydrograph. Now, let us move on to solve the example. The data given are 4 hour unit hydrograph ordinates. First, what we will do? We need to revisit into the concept related to S hydrograph. S hydrograph is obtained by summing dr unit hydrograph with a lag of drs. We are having the dr unit hydrograph, we will be lagging the unit hydrograph by drs. So, that way so many number of unit hydrographs will be lagged and after that we will be summing up the ordinates to get the S hydrograph. So, here we are having the 4 hour unit hydrograph. So, definitely we will be lagging that by 4 hours for producing S hydrograph. And the ordinate of unit hydrograph is given by S t minus S t minus d. That is the ordinates of unit hydrographs are summed up together to form the S hydrograph. We can get the ordinate of unit hydrograph by subtracting the ordinate of t minus d S hydrograph from S t. This S t minus d is nothing but the S curve addition. So, S t is equal to U t plus S t minus d. Unit hydrograph ordinate at time t plus S hydrograph ordinate at t minus d. That will be giving us the ordinate of the S hydrograph at time t. S t minus d is the S curve addition. Now, we can proceed to solve the example. The ordinates which are given in column 2 can be represented by the notation u t and next step what we are going to do? We are going to find out the S curve addition. We need to find out the ordinates corresponding to S curve addition. Then only we can find out the S curve ordinates for time t. We can represent this S curve addition by the notation S t minus d. How can we get the ordinates corresponding to S t minus d? You might have observed while discussing about uh, S hydrograph and unit hydrograph, the ordinates corresponding to time 0, t is equal to 0 in both the cases that is in the case of unit hydrograph and S hydrograph is equal to 0. First entry in column 3 is the first entry in column 2 that is nothing but it is 0. Now, we will move on to get the S curve ordinate that is S t. It is represented by S t. How can we get S t? S t is given by u t plus S t minus d. So, we are having u t here, you are having S t minus d here that sum will be giving us the S curve ordinate. So, the column 4 is obtained by summing up column 2 and column 3. What is our column 2? Column 2 is unit hydrograph ordinate and column 3 is the S curve addition. 
So, if we are adding that we will get the ordinate corresponding to S t. So, here in the case of time t is equal to 0 we are having ordinates of unit hydrograph and the S hydrograph as 0. And now coming to the second entry in column 3 that is the first entry in column 4. Second entry in column 3 is the same as that of the first entry in column 4. Here we are having 0 and same thing is written over here in column 3. Now we will be summing up the ordinates of unit hydrograph and S curve addition it will be giving us the S curve ordinate. This way we will be proceeding this 30 will be written in column 3 and 30 plus 110 will be giving us 140 that is the S curve ordinate corresponding to time t is equal to 8 hours. Now that 140 will be put in S curve addition column that will be added to the unit hydrograph ordinate 168 to get the S curve ordinate. So, it will be giving us 308. This procedure will be followed in order to produce the S curve ordinates for different time intervals. So, this way if we are proceeding we can get the ordinates corresponding to the S curve for the entire time durations. So, you can see what we have done we have written our unit hydrograph ordinates then we have found out the S curve additions and that S curve addition is added to the unit hydrograph ordinates. Here one thing you need to be careful is that we are adding the S hydrograph ordinate corresponding to a lag of D duration to the unit hydrograph ordinate of UT, UT plus S T minus D we are doing. That is why we are separately making a column for S curve addition then we are adding in order to avoid calculation mistakes. So, the same example can be solved by another way you do not have to always write this column related to S curve addition you can directly get the ordinates of the S hydrograph. Let us look into that the same example only there is no change in the data points same 4 hour unit hydrograph is there that is written over here in column 2 and we are going to calculate the S hydrograph ordinate. So, first entry in column 3 is the first entry in column 2 itself because S hydrograph ordinate and the unit hydrograph ordinate at time t is equal to 0 is same as 0. So, that will be written over and that is giving us the S curve ordinate. After that what we are doing we are summing up that what we were doing in the previous case we were writing it again as S curve addition which has to be added to the unit hydrograph ordinate at time t. Instead of making separate column we are directly adding and putting in the column 3. So, second entry in column 3 is the first entry in column 3 plus second entry in column 2. Here what we are going to do we are going to add 0 and 30 it will be giving the S curve ordinate corresponding to time t is equal to 4 hours. Same step will be repeated 30 plus 110 will be giving 140, 140 plus 168 will be giving us 308. This procedure we are continuing till the end of the unit hydrograph and we will get the ordinates corresponding to S curve. All the ordinates can be obtained. So, here instead of separately writing a S curve addition column we have directly summed up the ordinates to get the ordinates of the S curve. Only thing is that you have to be careful about the interval by which the data is given. If your unit hydrograph is of 4 hours and the interval given is 2 hours while adding you have to add corresponding to 4 hours that is first entry will be put in the cell corresponding to 4 hours. It cannot be directly put just after the first cell. So, that care should be done otherwise entire answer will be wrong that is why we are separately making the S curve addition column. 
otherwise this way you can easily find out the ordinates of the S hydrograph. So, this is the way we are proceeding and we are finding out the ordinates. So, the first part of the question is over derive the S hydrograph that we have done. Now, the second part of the question was what is the equilibrium discharge or equilibrium runoff value? Look at the curve you can understand that at t is equal to 40 hours the ordinate of S hydrograph is 949 meter cube per second. This is in meter cube per second the unit is in meter cube per second and corresponding to 44th hour also it is 949 and 48th hour again the same value. So, you can understand that as time is increasing there is no change taking place in the ordinate of the S hydrograph that is representing the equilibrium discharge. Here in this example the value of equilibrium runoff is 949 meter cube per second. So, you look at the figure as the time base of the unit hydrograph is reached that is around 44 hours right the S hydrograph has attained the equilibrium discharge. After certain time how we are producing the S hydrograph? We are putting the unit hydrographs at a required lag or we are placing the unit hydrographs with the duration of the unit hydrograph and summing up the ordinates. And we have seen that we can find out the equilibrium discharge. The S hydrograph will be attaining the equilibrium discharge after certain time that is corresponding to the time base of the unit hydrograph that is clearly visible from this figure. S hydrograph is given by this blue curve and the given unit hydrograph that is the 4 hour unit hydrograph is represented by this red curve. So, now it is very clear how to solve a question related to S hydrograph that is if a unit hydrograph is given to you you can develop the S hydrograph by making use of these principles. Any of the ways you can follow you can make the column related to S curve addition separately or even if it is not there you can directly add and find out the ordinates of the S hydrograph. Now, we will move on to the third example that is related to unit hydrograph of different durations using S hydrograph method. So, definitely unit hydrograph of different duration can either be obtained by this uh, what you call S hydrograph method or superposition technique. So, here the question is derive the 3 hour unit hydrograph from a 2 hour unit hydrograph given in the table below. We have been given 2 hour unit hydrograph. Ordinates of 3 hour unit hydrographs and the corresponding time is given to you. You look at the table carefully this is the ordinates corresponding to 2 hour unit hydrograph, but the ordinates are given at an interval of 1 hour. So, in this case if you are not separately making the column related to S curve addition you need to be very careful while making the additions. Before moving on to solving the example let us have a revisit into the steps involved with that. First what we will be doing from the unit hydrograph we will be finding out S hydrograph that is denoted by SA. So, this is our effective rainfall intensity having 1 by d centimeters per hour that is producing the S hydrograph SA and SA is representing the direct run of hydrograph subjected to an effective rainfall of intensity. 1 by d centimeters per hour which is starting at time t is equal to 0 and continuing indefinitely. Second step is to lag the S hydrograph by t hours that is the catchment is going to experience the same amount of rainfall after t hour duration. So, same effective rainfall pulse same effective rainfall intensity of 1 by d centimeters per hour is marked over here which will be producing the S hydrograph with a delay of t hours that is marked by this red curve represented by S b. 
for that what we are going to do we are going to lag the developed s hydrograph by t hours and this sp is representing the direct run of hydrograph subjected to an effective rainfall intensity of same amount that is 1 by d centimeters per hour starting at time t is equal to capital t and continuing indefinitely these concepts you already know but just before solving the example i am just refreshing the steps behind it now what we will be doing we will be finding out the difference between them sa minus sb will be finding out that is representing the direct run of hydrograph which is resulting from an effective rainfall having intensity 1 by d centimeters per hour but you have to be careful the duration corresponding to this is t hours that is we have found out the difference between sa and sb so that is representing an effective rainfall which is occurring for a duration of t hours capital t hours the rainfall depth corresponding to that will be t by d centimeters so sa minus sp is the response of the catchment for a rainfall of 1 by d centimeters per hour for t hours this is the effective rainfall pulse input the depth of that will be t by d centimeters now for getting the unit hydrograph corresponding to t by d centimeters of effective rainfall what we will be doing we will be dividing this sa minus sp by t by d so tr unit hydrograph is obtained by using this formula sa minus sp divided by t by d again the ordinates will be in meter cube per second these are the steps to be followed while deriving the unit hydrograph having different duration than that of the given duration. Now we can start solving the example. We have been given 2 hour unit hydrograph. 2 hour unit hydrograph ordinates in meter cube per second is given, but the ordinates are given at an interval of 1 hour. Here I am not going to directly add this, I am putting the S curve addition column. After that, we will be having the S hydrograph. So, first ordinate is same as 0 and after that, we will be putting that SA in the S curve addition column. But it should be put in such a way that where that ordinate to be put, it should be put corresponding to 2 hours. So, for 1 hour, the same value will be repeated that is we will write 15 itself. Now corresponding to 2 hours we will be having S curve addition that is nothing but 0. So here the utmost care should be taken you need to put this S curve addition corresponding to the duration of unit hydrograph. You should not put it at 1 hour. So that 0 we will be putting corresponding to 2 hours then we will be adding the corresponding unit hydrograph ordinate 15 we will be putting corresponding to 3 hours that way the ordinate should be placed otherwise initial ordinate if you are putting it corresponding to 1 hour entire process will be leading to a wrong answer so this care should be taken care even whether you are making the column related to s curve addition or not it does not matter how you are doing the addition matters. So, if you are directly adding the ordinate corresponding to SA at time t is equal to 0 with 2 hours then there will not be any mistake. If you are not sure about that you need to make the S curve addition column and put it corresponding to that time. So, 15 you will be putting over here next step onwards there will not be any confusion and you can get the next ordinate corresponding to S hydrograph by adding 25 plus 0 and next one will be 40 plus 15 that is 55. In that way we will be proceeding and we will get the ordinates corresponding to S hydrograph. Next step is to lag the S hydrograph by the required duration. That is what repeated over here as SB. We wanted to get the 3 hour unit hydrograph that is here in this case capital T is equal to 3 hours. Given unit hydrograph is having a duration of 2 hours, we are going to derive the 3 hour unit hydrograph. So, capital T is equal to 3 hours. So, we are lagging the 
derived as hydrograph by 3 r. That is why we have put the first ordinate at t is equal to 3 hours. Now next step is to find out the difference between S A and S B. The difference between S A and S B can be found out in this particular column. After that what is this difference? This difference is giving us the direct runoff hydrograph corresponding to a re effective rainfall for a duration of t hours. So, the rainfall depth is not 1 centimeter, it is the direct runoff hydrograph corresponding to a rainfall depth of t by d centimeters. So, t r unit hydrograph can be obtained by taking the ratio S A minus S B divided by the depth of the effective rainfall that is t by d. Here in this case t by d is 1.5, t is 3 hours and d is 2 hours, d is the duration of the given hydrograph, t is the duration of the required hydrograph. So, t by d is 3 by 2 that is 1.5. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to divide the ordinates of S A minus S B by 1.5. So, we will get the 3 r unit hydrograph in meter cube per second after dividing S A minus S B with 1.5. So, this is our required unit hydrograph that is the 3 r unit hydrograph. You look at the table carefully, here you can see certain ordinates are negative. While coming to last ordinate, for the time t is equal to 23 r, we are having minus 0 0.7. This way some fluctuations can be observed while solving the problems related to S hydrograph while deriving the unit hydrographs of different durations by making use of S hydrograph technique. So, there you need to make certain adjustment or smoothening of the curve so that it will reach 0 at the end time interval. So, instead of minus 0 0.7 we can assume it to be 0 and that is representing the 3 r unit hydrograph. If you are plotting the curve you can see here are 2 r unit hydrograph is represented by this pink curve and S hydrograph S A is given by this red curve and S B is the lagged hydrograph which is represented by this green curve and you can see both are having an equilibrium discharge after certain time. Those ordinates we have not found out, we have stopped there because we were not interested in getting the S hydrograph ordinates, our intention was to get the ordinates corresponding to 3 R unit hydrograph and from this we have found out the S A minus S B that divided by T by D was giving us the 3 R unit hydrograph that is represented by this blue curve. So, what will be the required duration you can find out by making use of the S hydrograph technique. If the required duration is N D hours from G R unit hydrograph if this n is integer or fraction, we can develop the NDR unit hydrograph by making use of the principle of S hydrograph. If n is an integer, easily we can do by making use of the principle of superposition. So, these are the different types of problems related to S hydrograph and unit hydrographs having different durations. So, here I am winding up this problem solving session. You can get so many exercise problems from these textbooks, try to solve these for making the concepts very clear. Thank you.